Hello and welcome to the new episode of the security trainings for beginners. Siavash here and in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to set up and run the OpenVAS on the recent version of Kali Linux. So first of all in previous video we learned how to install the Kali Linux. So let me launch that virtual machine and log in. If you're not sure how to install the Kali Linux please feel free to watch the previous video if I can key in my password correctly and I open already two tabs uh, we are going to learn in a different video how to install OpenVAS as well as the Nessus Essentials uh, formerly known as a Nessus Home um, based on the penetration testing before we start to slinging exploits we need to do some more research and analysis when we identify the vulnerabilities we actively search for issues that will lead to compromise in the exploitation phase. So um, there are different ways to identify that network we want to pen test or uh, assess. Uh, from the Nmap version scan to potential vulnerability, we have various options. The first scanner is OpenVAS, Open Vulnerability Assessment Scanner. OpenVAS is a full feature vulnerability scanner and a company called Greenbone um, develops the OpenVAS as a part of their commercial vulnerability management product family, also known as a Greenbone Security Manager or GSM. Historically, um, as um, 2005, the developers of the vulnerability scanner Nessus actually decided to discontinue the work on open source license and switch to proprietary business model. However, that the various companies, um, from, as you can read in the history of the OpenVAS, take care of that open source uh, version of the OpenVAS. Then after the Greenbone getting more involved and they bring their own um, framework for a security assessment, they keep the OpenVAS, they develop it, and they just call it as a open vulnerability assessment scanner. So this is not more system, it's a scanner. Uh, so let's begin uh, to install the OpenVAS on a Kali Linux. So first of all, open a terminal and make sure that our Kali Linux uh, repositories are and the distro is updated. So we can use the sudo apt update. So key in the password. All right. So it looks like all the repositories are updated. Let's check that uh, upgrade also. And see anything needed or everything is, looks good so now we can install the open OS. so let me clear everything and so sudo apt get install just apt install and open OS. so here we go and we just fetch the open OS from the repos and install our Kali Linux it may take time slightly Okay, so installation is done and you just need to run the setup. So the command for that is sudo gvm, which is a Greenbone vulnerability management, gvm setup. And we're just uh, setting up that the OpenVAS technically fetch all that the databases, necessary databases for running the OpenVAS, uh, CV databases and the rest of the dependency will be set up during this process. This process usually also take time, so just be patient. And um, as you can see that the user has been created with the specific password and now they're downloading all the databases. Finally, the open OpenVAS setup is finished and as we can see is everything is done. All the Greenbound community feeds include the NVT and the SCAP certs are updated. All the database are ready. So just for information is a Greenbound maintain the public feed for of the NVTs, which are the network vulnerability test for OpenVAS. Um, these public feeds are called the GCF and this contain more than 50,000 network vulnerability tests which is growing on a permanent basis so every time the new vulnerability is coming that's uh, the NVT's lists are updated so we may need to update your 
open VAS every time it's after a while, but now is a password is create or admin user. We can see here is a password for us, and later we can change this password. So now it's time to technically let me copy this one, and now it's time to run the open VAS, and we can use that sudo gvm and start and here we go key in the password so it's launching that on a local host 12700.1 and the support is 9392 so make sure that if your lab environment uh, is sort of um, firewall and segments make sure to open it up so it couldn't open it up let me manually open this one. So open the new tab, HTTPS, 127.001.92.93. Oops, what's that? 93.92. And here we go. So self-signed certificate. We just add to the accept the risk and continue. Just bypass this, and after a while, it should show us that the web browser for OpenVAS, and we are able to log in with the username admin, and the password is created. As you can see, that the service is up and running, slightly slow, and we can see that with a green bone, the website is open. If you receive the certification error, just bypass the certificate. We can log in with the admin and the generated password. Log in, we can save it. Or later on, we can go to the admin page and change the open bus. So it's slightly lagging my browser on this machine. I'm not sure why. So we have enough RAM and CPU for this VM. And it's very good now. So let me make it a full screen. And that's our Greenbone Security Assistance or OpenVAS vulnerability scanner is up and running. First thing, usually you can go to the admin page and change the setting, change the password, all the setting. In the next video, we are trying to start to install the Nessus maybe and also start some, some of the scanning in our lab environment here we go just click here and old password and make sure you key in the new password and save it just temporary i'll keep it as what it is as saving my browser and thanks for watching please leave your comments uh, make sure that you set up your lab environment and watch learn subscribe and share our youtube channel Thanks for watching and see you soon.